So today I'm away in to have a wee chat with Andrew from Hi Ho Silver all about how the company started and to look at some of their lovely jewellery. Um, Andrew. Hello. Tell us about Hi Ho. Hi Ho. How did it all come about? Oh, blimey. Uh, okay. About 25, maybe longer years ago, my sister and I were travelling around the world okay. and um, we were going from the mainland of Thailand right. to a little island called Koh Phi Phi okay. and I happened to sit next to a man on a sack of potatoes on the ferry <laughs> on the way over Yeah. and he, we became very good friends okay. and he uh, lived in Virginia in the States but his parents had got a house down in Mexico Right. and he was Travelling down to Mexico, buying lovely Mexican jewellery yeah. and taking it back to the States and and um, selling it. Okay. I was working in I was working in the meat industry. Really? Just before okay. BSE hit. Oh, yes. And we kind of went. Well, why don't we do this? And so my sister was well, at the time was working for Selfridges. In right. Fact, and both of us had decided that actually we wanted out of the yeah slightly more. Or we're out of working for other people and yeah. just to start something ourselves, and that is literally how it started. We used, to, <laughs> we used to fly over to Mexico with a couple hundred quid and a rucksack, really? and fill it with a bit of jewellery and bring it back. Wow! And that is literally, <laughs> and then and it was a long, long time before we really got into doing anything designing wise. Right. We used to do a few bits like um, we used to do some big, really big, um, chunky bracelets of stones and all that okay. stuff so we used to mm -hmm. we would sit and organize all the stones Jeez. and do all that sort of designing but um it, was a, it, it took a long time yeah, yeah long absolutely time. so it's really evolved the company oh god yeah yeah, yeah. hugely and it's only been in, again in the last sort of um five years that we really started to do i mean one of the most one of our most enduring designs mm -hmm. I'll bring it, yeah. is the the two-tone yes so a lot of people really, really love anything with two tone, with two -tone whether it. it's a snaffle, whether it's a bracelet or whatever. So you can mix and match gold and silver. Absolutely. Well, that's what I've got. Isn't with it? your I've bracelet, got you've got the cherry, cherry roller, roller. Yeah. yeah. So the cherry roller mm -hmm. was because this was so popular. And really? I came up with the idea, mm -hmm. but it took about two years. Right. Oh, really? Was, Is that a nightmare? Yeah. But the, yeah, that's one. For me, anyway, that's when, when I see it, when you see it on somebody's wrist or a necklace or whatever, you think, oh, that's that's well, high It's so the, iconic. The funny thing about the cherry roller has mm. been the fact that when we, when I came up with the idea for doing it, mm. it became very apparent very very quickly that we wouldn't actually be, we'd be able to make it in silver, but okay. we wouldn't actually be able to make it in the two tone in Mexico. All right. Because the um, to plate stuff, you mm. use really nasty chemicals like oh, arsenic. Really? Oh, okay. oh really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I didn't want, or we didn't want to have no. the non-health and safety conscious yes. using those sorts of things. And so we thought, right, well, we'll, we'll get it plated in this country, in Birmingham, by a really professional company, yeah. where we can control the um, the actual colour that they use, we can control the, the amount the the, that you know, and everything about it. Mm. So we made a silver bracelet okay we then had to make the tool really? to take the bracelet to pieces and to be able to put it back together again oh wow and that yes. took a couple of years to actually get to that stage once we got there mm -hmm. we suddenly realized that what we'd actually designed was something that you could do anything you wanted to with so for example the guys who win the Blair trot up this year. The ladies yeah. will be getting, or the lady will be getting, silver, blue, silver, blue sparkles to commemorate it being a Scottish, yep. a truly Scottish. I was hoping to sort of get the the white and blue of the salt air. Perfect. Um, and um, yeah, so um, you can do literally whatever you, you can do want. Do anything to, with it. No, it's beautiful. Fantastic. All right. So. Um, with the with the, the full sort of sparkly one for the the um, the winner of the best dressed in yeah. mind, we did two different versions. 
slightly cheaper. Yeah. Um, just silver. I say Lovely. just silver, yes. and with and with the um, with the, again with the blue sparkly beads, and that's going to be 185. Lovely. This is the first time, and it's exclusive to Blair. Oh, perfect. So you can get it at Blair, and then I and also did a little rose gold version of it as well, which oh, everybody so far has really liked. So um, done those two things just so that you can get that. Absolutely. For Burley next week, mm -hmm. however, as those who know, yeah. um, it's a four-star event. It is. So, what we've done is we've taken, and if you go in really, really close on that, can Ooh. you see that that's got a hi-ho written on the actual bead? Can you see yep, that? I've got it. That's beautiful. So the hi-ho on those beads yep. means that those beads are solid gold. Oh wow, really? So there's a solid rose gold, and needless to say, it's got a little bit of a higher price tag to it. Oh indeed, absolutely. So for Burley, yeah. the first ever four star yeah. bead is coming out, so it'll be solid gold with four diamonds set into oh, it. Oh wow, oh wow, that's a and bit that, special. we hope, will be arriving in this country literally later on today, if not tomorrow. So yeah, no, it's going to be very, very exciting indeed. So we're going to do the first ever four-star mm -hmm. bracelet for the big four-star competition. Mm -hmm.